So you have a HTC One phone and you want to know how to screen mirror it onto your Roku streaming stick. It's very easy to do and basically you can do it just about any HTC One phone that you have as long as it does have a mirror cast feature and you do have at least uh, Android, I think, four point, version 4.2. Okay, now I'm going to give an example of two different HTC One phones. First, I'll show you how to connect it and then what I'll do is I'll go over some uh, photos like in a gallery. Uh, I'll play a game um, and I'll browse the internet as well. So let's do this, okay? So here's a HTC One M9 here, and let me show you. This will be the first time I'll be connecting this phone, okay? Oh, the first thing you need to do, of course, is you, you have to enable the um, the screen mirroring feature on your Roku. So just go into your home screen, then you go into uh, settings here, and then from here you want to go down, you want to go to system, and then from here you want to scroll down and you you want to look for screen mirroring right here. As soon as you tap on screen mirroring, you can em enable or disable. Once you enable it, now I'll just go back to my home screen. Now every time you use your HTC phone and you screen mirror, it's automatically going to connect to your um, your, t your TV or basically your uh, monitor or anything that has the Roku streaming HDMI stick plugged into the back of it. Okay, now for the Roku streaming stick, now you do need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Your phone has to be on the same Wi-Fi network, same as your Roku device. Okay, so let's do this. Let me go ahead and We'll go ahead and connect this. I'll show you how to connect this one here. This is a uh, HTC One, I think this is a um, M9. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and then I'm gonna tap on uh, this gear icon, and then I'm gonna go down right here. It says HTC Connect. Okay, in other words, it's screen mirroring. So I'm just gonna tap on that. Okay, there's a Roku, it's a Miracast device, Roku Stick, so I'm gonna tap on that. I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, connect. Give it a second here. Okay, now we are in business. So pretty much anything I do on my phone now is gonna be relayed onto the TV. Now let's do this. Let, let me go ahead and uh, dis disconnect out of this. And let me go into, let me go into um, another HTC device. Okay, so let me go ahead and get out of this and let me go into my other HTC device. So let me just tap on Tap on here, and let me go here, and I'll go onto my phone. So let me disconnect from this HTC phone. Okay, now let's do this. Let me go ahead and grab my other HTC phone, and this is the HTC A9, I believe. And let's go ahead and connect to this. So let me scroll down here. Let me click on here, and let me look for HTC Connect. Oh, let me. Click on here, here's HTC Connect. Now the thing is, depending on which uh, HTC model you have, some of them may say um, something different than HTC Connect. It may say like screen mirror, it may say like um, all share cast, and different other names that's very similar to um, uh, screen or HTC Connect or screen mirroring. So let me just tap on that. And let me wait for it to find my streaming stick here. Here it is right here, my Roku stick. Let me tap on that, give that a second here. And once I get into here, and you can see, uh, it says right here, my Android 1066. This is actually my um, my A9 here, HTC One A9. So let's do this. Let me go ahead and let's just go into a browser here. Let me open up Chromecast right here. And let's say you're reading something on the net. Of course, we can turn it landscape as well. And you can read through here just like this. Let's do this now. Let's go ahead and let's go into the gallery. Let's look at some photos and videos. Okay, so here's a photo here. If I turn it into landscape, it's gonna, let me focus in on here a little bit and let me zoom in. We can see that white chair right there. And let's do this. Let's go ahead and look at a video here. There's a video here. Hopefully there's sound. Okay, cool. So now you can hear the sound that was coming out of the TV. Now that is, um, it's, it's coming out directly from my TV. Okay, it's not coming out of my phone. So let's do this now. Let's go ahead and let's play a game here. Let me just go in the traffic rider here. Press on OK. 
not now, play, and of course the sound is going to come out from my TV, okay? You can hear that. Okay, now the only thing is like, I would not recommend, if you're, if you're playing something that's pretty graphic intensive, I would not advise uh, playing games on here using this, because you are connected to Wi-Fi, and you know, you will see a bit lag. Even when I play this game here, I am seeing like a tiny bit of lag. Even though this game is not, is not too um, graphic intensive, I can still play this just by simply looking at the, uh, the TV here. And of course I can increase and decrease the volume. And, and you can see, there is a slight bit of lag. You can kind of see here. Okay, so, and let's do this too. Let me just go into uh, YouTube here. Let me go into a YouTube app. Press on play. It also has a UV light filter on it. Of course, it. you can One that fast forward. Light. And of course, the sound and everything again and is coming I'm still, I'm still from the TV. So that's pretty much it in regards to uh, screen mirroring your Roku. Um, your HTC One to your Roku device. Now the thing is, there's a lot of other devices out there. You have like the Netgear, you have like uh, Chromecast, you have um, even the Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick, even the Screen Beam Mini 2. They all have pros and cons. Um, you know, with this Roku here and a lot of the other streaming devices, uh, even the Chromecast, you need a Wi-Fi network. Now, for those of you that don't have a Wi-Fi network or um, you get charged using that because you need that to connect both um, your HTC One to your Roku. You can use another device called Screen Beam, and this one here is basically a direct connection, so you don't need a Wi-Fi network to connect. And you can also, if you wanted to um, watch like uh, Netflix or um, if you wanted to stream stuff from the internet, then you can use your mobile data instead of um, your wi you, you can use your Wi-Fi network if, if you wish as well, but you don't need a Wi-Fi network to connect your phone to the screen beam. And I'll have links below if you want to check that out. And that's pretty much it. Any questions, just comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.